Hi everyone! Welcome to my first update of 2023 on my Pan That palette. <clears throat> so uh, we have a lot to talk about. Uh, it's the Natasha Denona Star palette. It's kind of the one of the OG palettes that Natasha released. And here is my progress. So um, as you can see, there's a big dip here and here and here. So the three shimmery shades I really tried to focus on like I mentioned last time. Now I have used this palette almost every single time I've done makeup um, and those shades in particular as often as I could and it's been uh, exactly six weeks I would say since my last uh, video update um, when it was filmed anyway. So six weeks of use this is what I've got. No pans, um, unfortunately. These wells are so deep. Um, I did track my usage. Originally, it was a, a different piece of paper, and then I, I um, added it all up together into a nice sort of not as messy piece of paper here. So the two shimmer shades, um, this taupe one, I used 25 times So from brand new. So 25 times from brand new. Uh, you get about this big of a dip. So I think I'm very close to hitting pan, but I have not hit pan in the six weeks and 25 times that I've used it. And um, this matte shade is actually very pretty and it's not as scary dark as it shows up here. Sometimes it's actually not even dark enough for me. So uh, this shade I've used 23 times. And then this beautiful champagne shade I have used uh, 14 times. And so this one was, this one um, kind of got a nice dip going from 14 times. So yeah, so this is my update for this palette. Um, I plan to keep using it. And like I said in my um, starting video, I want to finish the whole palette entirely up. And I don't think I can do that in, two, in one year. So that's why I think I can do that in two years, but we will see. These are deep, deep, big um, pans, so we'll see what happens. Oh gosh, I think I just dug my fingernail into one of the colors. Ugh. Anyway, um, so that's the update for this one. I have a few companion palettes I'm also working on just because what's really cool about this palette is that um, it, it's missing some cream shades, if you can tell. It's missing some cream cream shades. Uh, this one's a glitter, it's not a cream. And it's missing a neutral mid-tone shade. So it's kind of nice because it's my excuse to use other palettes without sort of hindering the, the progress of that one. So um, I discovered that my Peachy Mattes palette is kind of expiring. It was purchased, oh, I don't want to show you. Um, I, I labeled my palettes from when I purchased them. So November 2017, oh boy, it's probably not good for me anymore. Um, it still smells nice, it smells peachy. Um, you know, there's no mold on it. So I think I'm gonna use it until, uh, the pigmentation disappears, which is often the case when uh, an eyeshadow expires. So for now, I'm mixing these two shades, these top two shades, as a mid-tone transition shade. They look very bright, but they've actually either lost pigment or they've just always been kind of um, subtle in pigment, which is a good thing in this case because I use those two colors mixed combined to blend out the middle of my lid. So that's working out really well. So why not? You know, even if it was, if it's less pigmented, it actually works out better for me. Um, and then I also made um, a sort of customized palette for myself. These are just some colors I wanted to try for my single collection, um, eyeshadow single collection. I haven't tried a lot of them yet, but this kind of pinky cream shade is really really nice for the brow bone highlight that's what i have on right now like this very top part and i really love it so i'm going to be using this until it's done basically it's one of the only ones in my collection you think with my huge collection i have a lot of cream shades that are appropriate for the brow bone but surprisingly not a lot of them are too dark or too beigey or um you know whatnot so this is one of the few that works so i will be working on that shadow as well and then lastly, um, oh, actually, I have two more palettes to show you. So this is the Urban Decay one. Uh, this is the super, super old one. So, ta-da! I don't know if you, yeah, you can tell this pan is completely empty now, this one. It was the last cream shade I was using to highlight my brow bone and blend out colors. So this is completely done. 
and the uh, medium shade is very very close to being done as well and once those are done this is definitely out I have colors of these other colors in other palettes a plenty um, and I'm not really interested in finishing those just because this palette is too too old so as soon as this one's done this palette is finished and out of my collection so I'm really excited and looking forward to that and lastly, the face palette I was also working on. So this is the Kevin O'Quan, um, the Neo Bronzer in Capri Cool Pink. And I absolutely love it. Uh, you know, it's a three-in-one. You've got the highlighter, the blush, and the bronzer. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm starting to make a gentle dip in the bronzer. Um, and the imprint is almost gone from the whole pan. I think you can just see like a few letters here and here. So I'm really excited about that. I've enjoyed using this immensely. It's a really, really beautiful palette. So um, I just can't wait to keep working on it. I do want to try to use it all up just because it's such an easy to use product. It blends out so beautifully, even though it's, it's kind of old in my collection. So, um, so that's another product I'm working on. So there you go, you're all caught up. I hope um, probably four or five weeks from now, I'll give you guys an even better uh, update and we'll be able to see some pans. Thank you very much and, oh my gosh, I forgot about my Pat McGrath palette, didn't I? Oh geez, mom brain. <laughs> This is also something I was working on, as I told you guys in my previous video. And look, I hit pan. Do you see that? I am so, so, so excited. So I'm using this as a companion palette to my Natasha. I know there's a lot going on, but if you can't tell, I, I love makeup and I love drawing on my face with makeup. So it's almost like meditation for me. So that's why there's so many things going on here. I truly do use all of them as I described. Um, I know it's a bit kind of over the top, but it, it's, you know, my hobby and my passion. So anyway, um, I hit pan in this matte brown. It's one of the most beautiful matte browns I've ever used. Pat McGrath um, hits it out of the park. I just love her products. And even though this is older, um, and it's starting to go a little bit. It still works very well. So so this is my progress with this palette. Um, next month, I hope to hit pan on this pink one. Um, as you can see, the waffle pattern is actually already starting to come out. So I'm super excited. But I haven't hit the waffle pan just yet. So uh, whenever I wear this shade, people always compliment me. And I just absolutely love this shade, this pinky shade. Um, it's the third Mothership palette. So Mothership 3 Subversive palette. It's an oldie but a goodie. All right, now I'm done. <laughs> um, everyone have a wonderful day and I will see you at the next update. Bye.